Hi, welcome to this collective Tower Love reading. My name's Sophia. So I thought I'd do a quick collective reading. Um, I'm working on programs already. I thought I was going to start in a new year, but I want to start them now. I start when I'm divinely whatever guided to do it. So um, I haven't done a lot of um, uh, collectives. I'll do at the weekend though. So I thought I'll do one now just to catch up to see what's going on with the energy. So I'm going to jump in and see what is happening with the collective with you guys on here. Um, I'm going to use these tarot training cards. If you want to know tarot fully, then um, buy this one. I have the decks I create is for you to learn tarot. So I have a tarot training course is what I'm trying to say. Um which is these ones, but these ones are beginner's cards, put it that way, if you don't know tarot at all. So beginners and advanced, but I'll check on my website, right? Um, I'm waiting to get these cards, bloody heck, I think it's going to take a couple of weeks, which I can't wait as well. All right, let me get, oh, there it is, <laughs> one more. Hopefully I remember to pull out these as well. So let's see, all right, you want to come out as well, matey. Oh, Knight of Swords, this is about the energy, the quick turnaround keep getting that lately all right then so the devil the oh i'll show you because these ones you can see the devil desires vices unhealthy attachments king of swords someone intelligent analytical detached a leader though and someone loving char charismatic wise considerate right and then i'll jump into these ones is the king king of cups so this is about this is your person. I feel this is changing to wisdom. So coming away from these, with the devil card here, coming away from um, beliefs, traditions, religions, more beliefs of how he, because it's thinking here, he or she is very analytical thinking of, they don't have to be an uh, air sign, but they think about what to do. And you, I'll give you an example. You may, it depends if you're, well, if you've been with me a while and you haven't booked me, why not? Because you think you're not ready. You think you can't afford it. You think that, I don't know, it's a rip-off. You think I'll be too blatant in my reading to you. Whatever you think, that's this, right? That's from a belief, a tradition, and that's judgment. Your celestial being, I like to call it galactic, which is uh, you're here to change planet Earth. And why would you have this different connection to be then judging people who then guarantee their services? You'll go to someone who's softly spoken, love and light, yoga, stretching, meditation, bullshit, right? Other than to do when someone like me who's cut into the chase and tells you what to do. So logic is good, but incorporated with heart. People might not book me. I guarantee, ask mission people, right? I guarantee I can get them with their person. I guarantee I can get them more abundant. I can guarantee them to be successful with their with their mission, right? So you were judging me, and this is in general, right? And that's what your person does. They judge you from a past experience of hurt from their family and probably an ex. But you judge situations. You thought, oh, I don't judge my person on their ex. Why does he judge me on their ex? The law of this planet doesn't see it like that. Judging, judging, period. That's it, right? It's too much people on this planet to go into individuality, right, of this situation and that situation. So the law is fair. Your job is to know the laws. My program, I guide you with counselling. I know how to work with incorporated of natural laws, right? So I would then... Uh, tell you to do something knowing how to expand you better. I'll give an example, right? If you was book counselling with me and you lived at home, I will tell you to move out from home, right? But energetically with the law of the planet, Einstein theory, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created it with, right? So you're in an environment with a negative environment, so you're negative, so you can't solve that problem. I don't tell you that. Do you see? I don't need to go into the, I know natural laws, so I would tell you to move. 
if you choose not to move, where's my person? I'm doing everything else. I'm healing and I'm lining. And I'm like, I told you to move. Don't need to get to the nitty gritties, right? So this is understanding that the devil, the vices is holding you back because you're thinking, well, my per I don't do drugs. I don't socialize and get drunk. I'm not cheating, whatever, third party. But it's like, well, I just gave you an example of something, which is a device, right? Unhealthy vices, right? Right, vices is like a device which is automatically repeating, which you do, which you don't see that you're doing, that um, is not beneficial, beneficial to you with the devil card, right? That's why I would say to you to move. But you then analytical, well, I get what you're saying, Sophia, but I really don't need to move. And I'm like, well, where you are is a negative frequency, right? Move. <laughs> That's what I would say. King of Cups, when you incorporate the cup, the heart, like I know, right, you may be around people who tell you they love you, but the heart of the matter is you're negative, you're where you are, so when you incorporate, which I do, heart with logic, to then tell you to move, that's when wisdom comes in, so there's a wake up call here of wisdom, right, or needs to be, and if you can't see it, because like I said, the Einstein theory, that is, you can't save a problem where, when you're in the problem, right, if you're getting beaten up, right, and I've been there, right, you can't solve it because you're in the problem of being beaten up, that's why you go to advice, right, because they see it from a holistic point of view from the situation, you can't from where you are, the full card, the high priest is the moon, so the full card, new beginning, taking a risk, a little, this is my favourite drawing, <laughs> I know, right, taking a risk, right, and all that, a leap of faith, so the leap of faith is like I said, when I say to someone, for example, move, if I say to someone, work on this program, they logicate, but this is why your person logicates. And you might think, oh, I'm not logical. I gave an example of why ain't you booked me? That's logic, right? Doesn't make sense because if you go to your heart and you be still, you know what I've said in this reading so far alone is true, right? Truth, King of Swords, right? I am straight to the point but it's hot because it's better it's for your better good absolutely someone else might love and lie la 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 but the heart of the matter is they give you an extended reading that does fuck all they give you a tower reading that does fuck all i give you knowledge with the heart but you don't see it that way devil you want it to be just logic and that's where you've got to just jump in and trust. Why is the trust here? Because when you're manifesting, we as an alien celestial being, part of the main reason of why we're here, how do you solve planet Earth, this fucked up corruption and stuff, come away from mental enslavement, if you teach people how to manifest their own desires? Period. There would be no disruption, disruption if everyone followed what i done. Sounds vain, I'm not here to impress you, but to impress upon you, that's fact. Because I follow natural law. So if there's a government telling me to put on a mask and do all this and do all that, then the guidance from upstairs is like, well, you don't need to go to the restaurant. You're quite happy chilling, watching Netflix with your person. There's not going to be an issue, right? If they tell you, well, we're going to take cut your benefits and cut this, well, you're working for yourself and you've got several businesses, Sophia. You don't have to worry about it. You, you're wise. You don't just do one job like the majority of people on planet Earth. You've got a selection. Do you see my point? Right? You have to jump into the unknown. And this is connected with manifestation because the fool has one foot on the earthly plane and the others in the air. The air represents logic, air, right? Water is emotions, energy, emotion, energy, air, fire. Fire is ether. So one foot on the earthly plane, that's what the fool is. Like that and one foot in the air, right? Like that. So excuse the class up, right? So that means that you manifest by jumping into the unknown because you can't see because these vices are stopping you. So you have to trust the unknown because you can't see it. That means inner vision. Like I said, if you go within and you tap within, this will tell you, Sophia so far has told me correct shit, right? But why don't you do it? Oh, because then I ain't got enough money. I promise you, if I came to you with a gun at your head and said, can you get 90 pounds? right, within two days, right, you'll get it, so it's never the money, 
it's never the money. You cannot afford not to have book me. That's how it rolls when it comes to these readings, right? Because this is based on your life. And your children follow how that your life is, as you followed your parents' life, belief systems, vices, right? So the this is all why I'm saying going within. This is like go within and I can tell you what about your logic, how you're like, a oh, person so logicates, he logicates everything. I'm like, yeah, so do you. So do you, right? You just look at it like for like. Just because you don't logicate, okay, well, I'm logically thinking that I shouldn't book Sophia, like the logical air signs would say. They literally use that word, but you're still logicating. The moon, look, what's hidden? I said, this is what's underneath your heart. Does that mean you haven't got heart? No. I say that to people, oh, I can't feel the heart. Doesn't mean you haven't got heart, it means it's blocked, it's hidden. You need to work on your shadow of what these vices are, which is stopping you from mixing logic with heart that creates wisdom this is his reading when you find out that this turnaround is quick with the knight of swords people what's the delay what's the delay there's two kind of reasons for the delay i'll spit it out in this reading because it's collected i said it twice in my readings today so maybe you need to know i'll give an example if you joined mission this isn't a cell this is connected to this reading if you joined mission then I can guarantee I can get you to move house to a better house. I can get you guaranteed that your person comes towards you. I can guarantee that you get more money. You're independent. You're more happy. We're moving on the negativity. Rah, 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 right? That's mission. Maybe some counseling and all that as well. Right? So when you do that and you start getting successful and the energy is changing, right? If your person then came to you, this, hear me now, this is 100% so. And I know this, this is channeled from the 5D contract. This is the contract talk, right? Twin flame contract talk. So if your person came to you, would you, this is set in stone that, you know, that you will do it. Not everyone, because I didn't, right? But majority of twin flames. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you've changed energetically. So your person will change. So what will happen is that he will come up to you, she, oh, okay, so you're moving forward. So, you know, we're getting on good now because you're coming away from all the negative, the devices, the cussing and all that, right? The negativity. The, oh, you're the devil, let's say, with Capricorn, with the devil card here, right? So you're getting on doing your own thing. All right, I'll leave you be, leave the door open. So he comes towards you because you're pulling the other way, getting on doing mission. So, okay, he or she, oh, well, let's, you know, now that things are better, you're not calling me a devil anymore, right? Um, why don't I put a title on it? Why don't we date? Or let's think of the future of moving in together. Or maybe, you know, I would love to have some kids with you. Here's what this 5D contract knows. You would come out of mission. You would literally come out and go back to your person and be dependent on them, the vices, of, oh, my person now loves me, he's showing me love, he's giving me a title, he's talking about moving together, and you get into your feminine, right, because now I pull you into your masculine, when it, which balances out the masculine and feminine, right, but when you're with your person, then you go back fully into the feminine, right, because this is about alignment, the balance of the black and the white, with the high priestess in the middle, right, this is about alignment, and then you'll go back, and then you'll slack, or most likely leave mission. And, oh, and then you'll go back to, and then he'll go back, because that's what generally happens, right? Then he'll go back to his old ways. You're supposed to pull them out. The balance, the high priestess is here in between these two, these two pillars. The high priestess learns how to balance out living on this planet by going within. Like I said, this, the moon is hidden, is in the dark. The moon is the dark, which is on top of the cup which is your emotions is in the dark. Oh, my person doesn't emotionally invest because yours is covered in the dark, right? I don't care if they say it or you say it, your heart is covered here. The high priestess is in the middle, so she tells you like how to balance out. Like I said, you logicate and you use heart, and that's non-judgment. And it's quite hard to do because you're in one side, which is the negative. It has to be pulled to the other side then to balance it out right but most people confuse the high priestess of you know oh i'm not gonna uh, take sides that's middle ground the planet's law negative or positive 
There is no middle ground. That's where people confuse the high priestess. Oh, she's middle ground. Now, that's pussy. That's like so, your one kid, right, fighting with the other kid, right? And you know this kid started it. And you're like, oh, they're both my kids. I love them both. How would this, this one who got beaten up by that one feel? And you're like, oh, they're both my kids. I love you both. That's that middle ground. No, this is saying, no, you beat them up. I love you like this one, but you're wrong. That's the high priestess. It's still showing love to both situations, but leaning towards the better thing that makes you enlightened. Most don't do that. They stay in the dark and be a, a middle ground of, oh, yeah. There's no middle ground on this planet. If you are going towards the heart of this planet, is fair and it's fucking brilliant. You go towards sun, right? Your happiness. It doesn't say it's easy, but you go towards your happiness. It's hard work, eight of pentacles, but you have to go to, towards the sun. If you're not getting to the sun and you're enlightened, woken up, let's just say, enlightened, because the sun is enlightenment, then everything defaults to a negative. So this planet is trying to help humanity by saying, listen, when you're fully enlightened, you will know, like me. And it's not always fully because you're always constantly evolving because this planet is always evolving and moving. So when you're enlightened, you will know because you will give back law of reciprocity instead of being tight or charging too much money uh, or charging for a group, right? You would give back. So this is about following enlightenment and then you keep going, you keep going. So this plan, and if you don't, you'll be negative. That's why most people on planet Earth are in the negative because they don't keep keep going, keep going like the rich. It's not an overnight success. When people say, oh, this person's an overnight success, you look at them, Beyonce was overnight success when she was 15 from when you can find pictures when she was four years old singing. It's not overnight success, is it? But this is like, um, under, oh, you won it quickly with a Knight of Swords, but it's slow because... I gave you the example, you would just jump in. So they make it slow, so that is baby steps, so you don't jump back onto your person. That's with the Knight of Swords. But also, when you get to the point where they know, well, listen, no matter what the person's doing, this person's still going to move. This person's still going to do mission and post four a day. This person's still going to be a humanitarian. Regardless if the person says they love you or not, right? I'm not going to get carried away with a femininity, with the emotions and the nurture, she's going to still balance it out perfectly with a high priestess, right? And then still do mission, what? because the, the, that's you, mission. And then this changes instantly. So people say, Don't, you know, what, what, what? I'm doing all the work. What's happening with my person? There's a lot of things going on there. First of all, it changes instantly with your person when them lot trust, because them lot know you, right? Because you breathe them upstairs. So they know if you're going to change, what's going to change. And that means your person will be baby steps, baby steps. And all of a sudden, he's moved in with me, Sophia. But that's after you've done the work. That's what it is. Also, what that means is like um, the law of the gravity. That's how energy is. It's like gravity. You fall off a, a, a tower block, boom, you're dead. That's how fast it changes when you get to that level. The problem is this world is corrupted. And so there's a lot of negativity you need to move past. It wasn't supposed to be like that, but obviously it's in a unique planet. So there's evil entities that want to take over this one unique planet. I get it, right? So it shouldn't be, but I get it. So because of that and the belief systems and the television and the religion, that's all the stuff that takes it slow. And like I said, under twin flame contract, most want to go back to their person. That's why it's slow. But it changes quickly when when you understand the contract now i want to pull out a couple of uh what he or she is thinking about you but let me check out these alien oracles there's this one yep this is to do with i don't know i'm getting time lately there's no time the only time there is is in space and it's not connected with there isn't time at all but in space you go up in space for a week it could take a year or something like that on on planet Time speeds up upstairs. That's it. But that's also, no, I don't need to talk about that. But anyway, why I say that? Because it's time. All right. Stop procrastinating. Time to start mission. Twin flame mission program. Right. Um, and look, rooted belief systems is stopping you from moving forward. 
right but it's time to do it it's time to get into mission let me pull out one of these <coughs> let's see what your person is thinking or feeling that's these ones and look the knight of swords i don't know if you showed you quick communication intelligent right that's um <coughs> I just wanted to show you that card in case you uh oh no the wrong one why is that one here i pulled out the wrong one for a reason the eight of swords so look never i said to you stop thinking you know never negative thoughts overthinking fear and that's interesting because i showed you that one why did i show you that one about a uh, quick human intellect you think you know you don't right and eight of swords is one way thinking and I've already told you the Einstein theory stuck in your head because um, you're doing, you can't see the problem. And your person's the same. But once you, the good thing about this connection is you book the counselling, you, I'll show you from a holistic, me and this community, whatever, right? And then you make changes, which I 100% money back guarantee you're already aligned with someone, right? Most soulmates have to find their person. You're listening to me, you know who your person is. So when you move, they move. That's it. Right? So your job is to move, to do this 180. To jump into the unknown. And that's all about inner, unknown, unknown, high priestess, going within. Stop looking with your fucking eyeballs. Right? They're limited. From your person, I have always loved you right and i bet you you know that when i met you you knew they was always loved you that's past life connected with time right because they say past life is you know past lifetime and this is always like you know that so anything else is your perception and overthinking allow me to help you to come out of that right so check out the facebook or you just go ahead and book me the facebook ain't gonna get you with your person i'm just gonna give you more stuff to convince you right it's not like, that's it. It's not like, oh, okay, Sophia's going to give me more stuff, so it's going to move me towards my person. No, there's just more of us giving you more to convince you to, to take action. There is nothing you can listen to. I want to repeat, no thing that you can listen to that will just make the changes. You have to physical. Why? Physically move because this is a physical plane, right? It's a delusion, but it's a physical so you have to physically make the effort. You have to get the physical money to pay for it, to invest. Invest in you. In you. Invest. Not in me. I'm abundant. Thank you. Invest. Right? Then you will show people, your master teacher, who will then invest in you. If you won't invest in yourself, then when you're supposed to be a master teacher, no one will invest in you. If you're doing an easy option of just doing a tower reading on YouTube, then you're just going to get tight, easy people, right? Because you just pay for a tower reading. Who are you going to attract? Oh, I want to sell programs and that. Well, first of all, you'd be too lazy to make it. And if you did, you're only attracting people who do things what you do. You must change that quickly, Knight of Swords. And that's what I'm saying. It's instant. You can now change your mind, right? Eight of Swords. Change your mind. It's not, not, not no big thing. You can literally change your mind. Go to that website and book me. Simple as that, right? So the delay, the delay, the delay is always you. I'm out. Speak to you later.